So yeah, yesterday I decided to uh, to go ahead and play around with a few things and um, and do some building. So I spent about all day on Discord, just chilling, hanging out with everybody and uh, building. That was the one goal that I wanted to do. I just wanted to take some time, relax and just build. And that's what I did. And so what you're going to see today is a Zen garden like no other Zen garden you've ever seen before. Yes, I extended the entire back here. Very, very large and made a Zen garden. No joke. This is where I can house all of my crops and I can harvest all of them anytime I feel like it. And yeah, it's literally a Zen garden with raked gravel and everything. I know some of you may be saying, well, why don't you have sand? There's, there's not a raked sand. This stuff is really cool from supplementaries and I didn't really understand it until I, I, I was looking around after building this garden. It's amazing. This stuff is really cool. All you gotta do is use a hoe on gravel and yeah, just look at it as if you were placing uh, like stairs it, it, to get the curves and everything. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, you can also pick it up. I even uh, decided to use some fairy lights. So fairy lights, uh, you can hang. Uh, might as well use some of these building mods that I have. And then my favorite part was this. So this is a decorative block uh, right here, a spruce seat that you can actually see set on um, that extended from a fence. And believe it or not, this is a stick. I'm I'm not joking. It's, it's literally a stick. Uh, yeah, you just right click a stick on there and then you can hang lamps from it. Beautiful looking, I love this. I think blaze rods also work. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. And that's from uh, supplementaries. So there's, there's just so many things. Now, I have these two towers that I need to figure out something to use in them. Not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do with that, but it is nice. I think this section I'm going to do uh, melons. So I'll have half pumpkins, half melons here. And that way, if I need them for crystal crafting, I have the ability to make them. So we should be good. Um, so what are we, what's my plan for today? My plan is to run a few more vaults, but first there's another machine that I wanna show you guys and set up. And that's a cobblestone generator. So I am gonna be working in a pretty tiny space over here, uh, but to set this up, let's, let's just think that cobblestone is going to be raised up off the ground one. And uh, I kind of want my hopper to be right here facing into a chest that is going to be right here. Now I have a little bit of room to extend this. And you may be also wondering, Chosen, how exactly are you gonna be generating cobblestone? Like there should be nothing in this pack that does that. You're gonna be sadly mistaken because the iron rod from Cork, yes. So those of you who know, you know, uh, this is going to be the way that I end up mining this. Um, so what I want is cobblestone to generate on this block. So let's just assume this block right here is the cobblestone and we need to generate uh, just cobblestone. So one of the better ways of doing that um, is you can place a stair uh, on the top of this in which I will put water. And then on the back, I'm just gonna fill this with trap doors. Uh, so the bottom here, Needs to be a trap door. I'll place a trap door right there. I don't think I'm gonna have to extend this on the back, but just in case, I'm gonna place a trap door back here. And go ahead and clear this land out. I'll have to cover it up. I'm trying to hide this because this thing is not a pretty machine. Uh, once it's up and running, you know, it's just something that's just gonna sort of stick out with redstone. So yeah, in here, we'll go the lava. Up here which I will also wrap with trapdoors or you can use signs or whatever you want. This is also going to get trapdoors, but this actually gets water. So up here, just waterlog that, very simple. And then this will just give it some lava. Perfect. So now that we have that, when we break this block, it should generate cobblestone, right? That's a pretty simple cobblestone generator. Nothing really to it. Um, so to sort of utilize this, we need to get a piston with a sticky piston here. I need to 
get this sticky piston. Like I said, I'm going to have to extend the room. I'm going to have to send this into this to break it. Um, I can use a lever. And you can see that broke the cobblestone and the cobblestone went inside. So there's a, f a few different ways we can do this. We can put this on a timer. And this can work on a timer. Or we can actually detect uh, that there's something here and use an observer. Uh, the problem with me using a, an observer is it's going to take up a little bit of space, right? Um, and it's going to be kind of awkward. The thing I might actually do, though, is to get it to fit in here more comfortably, I'm probably going to move the lava because this does not have to be exactly where it's at. This could be on the side. So that's going to give me more room because if I break this wall, uh, we're going to start breaking into our base. Also, another problem I see that's already worrying me is all of this wood on the outside. This has to have something blocking it. Otherwise, we're going to have a mess on our hands. Uh, yeah, we'll ha end up having a massive fire and nobody wants to deal with a fire. So let's get this redstone set up. So I have an observer that I'm going to place here. Now, the observer will also read the iron rod. Um, so this is where we want to sort of skip that pulse not going to be too difficult to do that either. Uh, we're going to extend this out with a little bit of fancy redstone. I say fancy, it's not fancy at all. Uh, with just a repeater. And we can delay these ticks uh, to go all the way out. And that's where the magic is really going to happen here. We need to delay the ticks far enough so that way this only kicks on um, once this block is broken. And we want to make sure it's it's going at just the right pace. Um, so let's grab some redstone, good old fashioned red stone. And right off the bat, we can get this working. The problem is, is I, I'm going to have to kind of monitor it to see. So let's place this on. And so you can see it's going incredibly fast now, probably a little too fast, right? And that's with that delay. And you can notice the delay here. So if I plop this in and I delay it, still not enough. I'm going to delay it again. A little wonky. Let's uh, maybe still too much. Do three. I think that's perfect. Still acting a little bit weird. And that's due to that double pulse. Let's double that. And that seems to be perfect, actually. And just to check, let's check our chest. Three, four, and we are now building up. So if you see the redstone, if you want to copy that, um, we have one tick, three ticks, three ticks, and three ticks. And we're good. This thing is nice and hidden and out of the way. It's making noise, but hopefully I can get out of here. And I should be able to just, you know, place a door and I have access to a massive cobblestone chest. And anytime I want to shut it off, I just do this. So, we should be good. Look at that. And the bonus for it being down there is... I don't have to hear it at my base, because pistons are really loud. So if I plan on running some more vaults, I do want to prepare myself. So these are two pieces of gear that I have had that are rare and actually worth upgrading. But, of course, as you can see, they are pretty high level. Um, so this should propel us early on. It's going to take our chest piece and our leggings. It's going to be pretty nice, even though this looks like a skirt. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take this and just go ahead and lower it down. All the way down to our current 37 that we are. There we go. 37 on the chest piece. And this has to go way down. For us to get down to 37. And that's going to cost too many levels. Let's see. Bottles of enchanting. Super quick. 
And then we should have enough. What was it? 12 of the Wu-Tak shards? 37. So, yeah. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of enchanting. But look at this armor. This is, like, interesting. I'm so ready for, like, a helmet. Wow, we look, we look buff with that chest piece. Man, if we roll something nice with that, like some kind of nice roll after we kill a boss or two, th this could have some really good stuff on it. I mean, right here, we already have plus one armor on this. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and change this, even though like this armor looks the same, like on the, on the pants. Believe me, the armor is actually better because this has the higher uh, defense there or the higher toughness. And uh, it just doesn't have any modifiers yet. So we'll see what those modifiers will roll. That'll be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, definitely worth uh, putting some protection and unbreaking on these bad boys. So yes, it's uh, it's been just a little bit since I've ran a vault, but uh, I think I'm ready. I hope, I hope this is a good vault. Maybe we'll have good luck on our first run. We'll see. Let's do this. It could be anything. Trapped, healing, and extended. Ooh, we get an extra two minutes. We get regeneration and it's trapped. I mean, that's, I don't like the trapped, but you know what? It's better than nothing. And the fact that we get regeneration, ah, oh, it's just icing on the cake. And our first obelisk. How nice. Oh, there's ice in here. Whoa. Yep, I figured that they're gonna be, this might just be a boss run. <laughs> Since they're all trapped like this. It just might end up being that way. This room is gonna be so hard not to pass up. Come on, I, I I gotta I gotta do this room. Even though they're trapped. This is a nice chest. I'll take that. Nice, an ore room. Ooh, that was a lucky one. And another obelisk in this room. Very nice. Is the village room going to be prosperous? We're about to find out. Oh, and it is. And anyone home? Nope, no one's home. Perfect. Lock you off. I'll take you. And you. Oh boy, give me something good. No explosions. Oh, darn it. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, These guys are nasty, by the way. You know what? Now they can't do anything. Oh, yep, never mind. Yes, they can. Okay, um, how am I supposed to do this? Because when I kill them, more pop up. Um, all right, are we done? I think we're done. Nope, more, more's to come. These guys are the worst. They're just destroying my armor, all they're doing. And there we go. Now I can get out of here. Ooh, there's an obelisk in here, but boy, this is a nasty place. To even like attempt to get it. Oh, do I have any apples? This might be the best chance. This gives me fire immunity. Whew! That was, uh... Uncomforting. Is this another obelisk? Oh my gosh, it is. It's in the spider room. I don't know. Oh, is this a good place to fight a boss? It's gonna have to be. So I need to move this idol into here. We have new gear. Fighting a boss is actually a pretty good idea. Just get my hearts. And we'll just use our abilities and just hope for the best. Let's do this. Here we go. Yep, I think this is gonna work. Got him. Perfect. That was clean. That was very clean. Very, very clean. I'm gonna grab a few of these blocks while I'm down here. And let's hope this boss crate got us something good. Anything good? Ooh, we got a vault axe and a helmet. That's usually the nice part about this. <gasps> and relics. 
Oh, come on. Please let us complete at least a relic set. What do we get? Oh, we got a pickaxe handle. And we got a pickaxe tool. All of which I don't know if this completes our miner set. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This actually requires five pieces of each. I thought it was only four, but now that I read it, it has crafted together with four other pieces other than what it currently is. We don't have the uh, miner's delight, no. Oh man, I thought we were so close. I thought we were going to get that. We we're so close to the miner set. We have four pieces. We're literally just missing one. Oh man, I was excited. You were probably excited too. Don't lie. You were probably excited. So let's check out what we got from the boss because we got more than just loot. We ended up getting weakening cloud or weakening two cloud on our idol here. And then we got a uh, 3% cooldown reduction. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it is helpful. And then plus 400 durability. Oh, that's nice. But I would have preferred some other modifier, you know, like health or anything like that. That would have been really handy. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. What else do we get? So let's see. Let's roll some pants and a helmet. And let's hope for something good. Come on. Maybe a better helmet. Oh. Speaking of better helmets, uh, I think we did just roll a better helmet. Is it better? I would say it has more knockback resistance and more toughness, but it does lower our armor down. But we still have two more levels we can get on this, so that would be three. This is actually better than what I currently have on. It looks so weird, though. <laughs> oh, no, that would 100% change our helmet. I know there's transmog abilities, but still, that's super, super funny. So I definitely have some enchanting to do, but let's see what we roll here. Give me a good axe, because at the moment, all the axes that we've had are just kind of blah, and we don't have a really good damage weapon. This does weakening cloud. It does 10 attack. Ah, oh, it's still just a scrappy axe, though. Bummer. So how do you like my new helmet? It's uh, pretty pog. Am I right? Pretty nice. Look at that. I got spikes. Spikes for days. So we're getting close to the wire. I think I have room for another vault. Uh, I should, by the way. I love the fact that I have just a sheer infinite amount of potions at all times. It's insane. Um, I think I need to repair my magnet. Uh, let's see. Or I could just use a new one. No, I'm, I'm going to repair it. Um, so these only have so many repairs on them. Oh, wait. This has zero repairs left. Well. Yep, it's going in the trash, just like all the other ones. 100% going in the trash, and, uh, well, it's time for new magnets. I'm glad there was one in there, because I was going to have to make one otherwise. Uh, but this is perfect. So, next vault. I believe I have everything that I need. Be a lucky one. Slowed and easy. Now, slowed gives us slowness, which is not fun, but uh, easy? I mean, that makes this uh, a pretty nice vault. Hey, there's a cake, and it's cake cake tastic. <laughs> First obelisk in this easy vault. Hopefully we can break some blocks here, and there's not TNT. Nope, definitely TNT. Yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, let's see what's underneath here, and if it's going to be worth it, because it might not be. Oh, and there's a room. Yes. Two today. I feel like that's a pretty decent run on this. Getting lucky right there. And we got some special ore in the walls. And of course, this again. Yep. That's fun. So this is the weirdest ore room I've seen. What? This one's totally different than any of the other ones I've seen so far, so... Not quite sure... What I'm looking at here... Alright, looks like we're getting lucky again. I am going to make my way... 
down under this village, and looky here. Oh boy. Alright, I'm sh almost positive this is gonna be an explosion again. Every time there's an explosion. Just break those blocks. Well, but here's another obelisk. I just, I don't think I'm gonna have time. I, I don't see that coming. Well, you know what? For me, I would call this a pretty decent run, even though we didn't fight the boss. You know what? It was definitely worth it. And, uh, well, our loot... I mean, we ended up getting quite a bit. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll these swords. Roll the helmet. And something good. Oh man, that skull looks pretty cool. And what is this? Oh man, just I mean it has a level, but I don't it's nothing compared to our rejuvenate sword, which is so good. So this is a vault diamond, which is three vault diamonds. That's amazing. Uh an enchanted book for silver. What could that possibly? Just anything? Oh, it's power. Wait. Upgrade yeah, an existing enchant level when using an anvil. Ancient enchantment book. Wait, would this just increase the power above? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, power bar, and did we get anything else? Because there was other things. So we got uh, some gems, a candy bar, and more Wu-Tex shards. Awesome. And one more thing to identify. Everything else was pretty nice. Um, we even managed to get, let's see, some black opal. Some more ore. Like, I'll always go for more ore. Um, and let's see, did I miss anything else? I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and we got one of these. The mustachio ore, right? That's what it's called, right? So, did you enjoy the vault runs? Because I am certainly still having a blast. Every time I go in a vault with a different modifier, just something about it, it just seems every time it's something new. But over this time, I am generating tons and tons of resources. And it seems like I am finding more and more vault ore, which is good because it means we can unlock new things like I can upgrade my backpacks or potentially get into a new mod here soon. Uh, and so that is awesome. So what is my plans moving forward? So I think what's going to happen moving forward, more vault runs, of course, have to be run. We're about to hit level 40. Things are going to change at level 40. I'm going to unlock some strength. I'm saving up my skill points to be able to do that so we can kill the mobs a little easier, try and keep up with things. We're already gaining new vault gear. Things are happening. And what is going to happen real soon is I'm going to be striving to unlock more mods as I continue going. But also, I need to start prioritizing things. And that is the quality of my vaults. So we're going to have to start changing up the way we do vaults. And that means like pre-rolling the effects before we go in them. And that's going to start changing everything. So that is going to be happening very soon. Also, transmog stuff is going to be happening uh, very soon. That's really cool, by the way. You can actually transmog your armor. You can also change the color of your armor already. But uh, to do that, you do have to unlock the, uh, the vault armor modification thing. Um, so that is a thing. But... I, as you can see, I have gone through. I'm, I'm just having a blast, like, building and stuff. So there should be more building. Plenty more building. You think this base is big now. This is going to turn into a city before, <laughs> before I know it. It's, it's just the amount of time I spend in this pack is going to be, it's just crazy. It's already crazy. I already have over three, almost four days worth of playtime in this. It's, it's pretty nuts. Uh, but anyways, I am just having a blast. So I had to make this Zen Garden here just to have a place to come and relax. You know, after a tough day of vault runs, there's nothing better than looking at the uh, the raked lines in the gravel and just relaxing, just chilling. And that's what this is all about. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that subscribe button. You know, uh, these videos take a lot of time to make and I would really appreciate you guys subscribing. I believe at this moment of the video, if we haven't already suppressed it by then, we're about to hit 510 thousand subscribers at this point that's insane that's absolutely insane i'm wow like literally <laughs> oh man that's a number it is a number and it's edging ever closer to the uh the the infamous one million subscribers that it seems like all youtubers are subscribe or uh all youtubers uh tend to uh you know go after it's that magical number but anyways guys i appreciate it thank you so much for watching 
I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video though. And that, my friends, is going to go to Don't Study over on the Discord. Thank you so much for your amazing support, becoming a Discord premium member. And of course, guys, as always, if you want to join the Discord, it's an amazing place to hang out. I hang out in there all the time. I built that whole garden literally while I was in voice chat, live streaming over on Discord. It's just like, uh, it's like a voice messaging app. Remember Skype? It's, it's better than Skype. I mean, I'm not here to, to advertise for Discord. It's, it's just, we have an amazing community of like 23,000 members. It's, it's insane. I, it, it, yeah, anyways, <laughs> enough bragging. All right, let's, let's get on. Of course, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.